Brooklyn's Radio. Now I'm delighted to have in the studio with me Leanne Cornelius. She's Group Marketing Manager for the West London Motor Group and uh, they're a platinum sponsor at uh, this year's Shepparton Village Fair. Good um, afternoon to you. Hiya. Nice yeah, welcome along. Thank you very much. Nice oh, to be here. All right. So I think it's the first time you've been sponsoring the fair. It is. It is, yes. Okay, so uh, I know you've got a base in Shepparton, haven't you? Got we a have. We've got a there. dual franchise site, which is Nissan and Fiat, based on the Walton Bridge Road. Right, okay. Uh, but you've got lots of other sites as well, haven't we you? Have, we have. We are uh, 12 businesses in total. Wow. With uh, four manufacturing partners being Hyundai, Kia, Nissan and Fiat. Oh, right. Does that work well then, having four different manufacturers? It gives your customers much more choice, it does. I guess. You, you, yeah, there is a, a more variety of choice. Yeah, hey, I've got a good idea. So how long have you been with the business? I have been with the business four years now, four okay. years June the 28th. Oh, oh, my goodness me. Yeah. All oh, right, you're waiting for the birthday card. I am, yeah. <laughs> don't get upset if you don't give me one. <laughs> anyway, uh, a group marketing manager then, so you have to keep the profile of the company up there, do you? I do. I uh, look after the website, make sure that we are all above board and we look and deliver on our promises. Well, I, I was very, I'm going to say, I was very impressed with the website. So Good, some I'm companies glad. do let them get a bit stale and out of date, don't they? No, but, we're, uh, we're on top of ours. We make sure it's, it's yeah. right and it delivers the right information and the customers can get where they want to be. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Their- that's what you're trying to do anyway, isn't yes. it? Yes. And the video was very impressive as well. So perhaps you'd like to just tell me a bit about the, the ethos of the company. WLMG's ethos. We are a traditional company we're privately owned um we started business in 1996 it started with one site in hamwell and has grown substantially um our values are quality service and commitment and as our strap line says we're, we're you know famous for keeping our promises the business has grown due to the fact that we have returning customers that that value us and trust us and we deliver the service that we, we, we promise to deliver. Because a lot of companies who, who develop these strap lines and these mission statements and Often everything don't else, deliver. but, but yeah. don't deliver. So the secret is obviously, is, is to, and this, this permeates right the way through the it team, is, does it? It does, yeah, right down to, to ground level. Right. All our troops are, mm. the, the, the ethos is... We fa- we're famous for keeping our promises, and we sure ensure we do that. I must Im- I imagine it must make the, th- the staff feel a lot better as well. It does. I mean, we've got uh, a lot of staff that have started, started. We've got numerous staff that started 10, 15 years ago and have grown within the business. As the business have grown, they've worked, worked their way up the ladders. Mm. And that, that also says a lot about the business, the fact mm. that we have so many loyal staff working for us. Right, you've got a good staff retention. I don't know the, the major industry really very well, but is there normally a big turnover of staff? Uh, it depends. It depends on the department. It's, it's probably fair to say, but you know, WLMG retain retain a lot of staff, and they they you know they enjoy coming into work, which is what most people aspire to do, isn't it? You want right. to get out of bed. Yeah. So you're morning. selling, I guess, new cars and also used cars. New and pre-owned. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I, from reading the papers recently, the market seems to be picking up. It is on the up. It is, which is what what we need um it it wasn't it wasn't easy last year but it's definitely definitely getting better and definitely improving right both on the new and the used yes on both right so both both are doing pretty well yeah yeah. and it's all down to then people having a good experience and wanting to come back for more that's the main the main crux of the matter yeah Mm. in today's market especially with there's so much choice for customers um you have to have a, a strong retention strategy and deliver on what you say you're going to deliver okay yeah indeed and, and even the used cars i guess they're all sort of checked over and yeah oh absolutely absolutely yeah. so they're they're, 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 good, they're good as well so uh, so what's what's popular at the moment then what's popular at the moment um in particular i mean if you take fiat for example you've got the fiat 500 funky little fiat 500 that's flying out of the showrooms it's yeah. it's a fantastic little car yeah these city cars are getting very popular yeah. aren't they yeah, around, it's, around it's the place magic to drive what about electric cars electric cars the leaf mm. the nissan leaf that's getting more and more popular as people embrace the new technology it is it is a new technology but people are getting on board with it and you can save yourself a lot of money um it's and it's a fantastic car you, you really need to drive it to Really? Yeah. Does it feel good to drive? It is magic. Is it silent or have they put a noise into it? They have put, it's similar to a um, a milk float. 
They, oh, ha- right. they have put a noise into it. And when you start the car, you, you press a button and you hear this uh, uh, yeah. difficult to describe, but it's yes. a computer generated noise because you can't tell the car's running. No. But it is a phenomenal car. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very smooth, I imagine. It's, being it's, it's brilliant. Somebody yeah. who's old enough to remember travelling on trolley buses. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's instant Hattico- power. I can remember. Oh, yes. And there's no gears, I suppose. I know. It's instant power. It's automatic. You just yeah. put your foot down and it, and it goes. And it, it is, you're, it is mm. completely silent. And of course, a lot of people do a lot of short trips, don't they? Yeah, but you know. the charging, the charging points nowadays, the infrastructure is getting, it's phenomenal. It's it's a lot bigger, so people don't need to worry about that. You okay, can, so that is the biggest worry, as I understood, was, yeah. was, 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 you know, the number of charging points and whether I'm going to run out on a long journey. Nope, it's the, the, the charging, the charging infrastructure is, is exceptionally good. Right, so all this, around our area here oh, in yeah, West London yeah. and so on. It's, it's, yeah, I can point you in several websites that will mm. will tell you where these charging points are. And I did read the other day the government are planning, I think, for every uh, filling station on the motorway network to be equipped within so long. Yeah, there's numerous supermarkets that have got charging points, numerous you've got IKEA that mm. are heavily involved in. Otherwise you just plug it in overnight at home in the garage. You you do. Know, and, and that's it. And, then, yeah. and try to remember to unplug before you leave. Yeah. I expect it won't lay you to move in this. It's no, it won't. In. No. Anyway. All right. So that's interesting. I know it's a very small proportion of the market overall at the moment, but obviously a growing one. Though. It is. It is very growing. What about yeah. hybrids? Hybrids. We don't. We don't have a hybrid model. I am on. on the, the Toy- Toyota range obviously do, but yes, n- none of our franchises have hybrids. No, okay, yeah. So we're going for the Nissan Leaf anyway. So anyway, you're going to be down at uh, Shepherd and uh, Village Fair on Saturday. We are you're going to bring some cars. Down we are. Us. We're going to have two models. We're going to have the Nissan Note and the funky little Fiat 500. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay, then. So um, the Nissan Note is that also pretty popular. It is. Yeah, they've uh, recently uh, recently reshaped it, um, and it looks it looks phenomenal. Really? So you'll have to get down to Shepparton Fate, have a look at the cars. We'll have an expert there to take you around them. Excellent, yeah. And obviously you can arrange, you know, for another day for a test drive, I'm sure. Absolutely. So the showroom's only down the road, so you can always... Yeah. If you fancy leaving the fate early, you can always <laughs> drive around to WLMG and we will be more than happy to help. Yeah. Interesting you're saying what, about service because uh, I had uh, somebody bump into me in a car park when I was parked. I was actually in the shop when I came out and found it had been uh, the rear uh, and near side wing had been damaged. But luckily the person who did it, lovely lady, came up apologising profusely. She'd actually had a bigger dent in her car than mine. Oh dear. But uh, her insurance company was on to me they, uh, the following morning. They said uh, the repairers will be in touch. We can deal with it all. And uh, the repairers rang about an hour later and they collected the car yesterday and it's all ready today. Yes, uh, which is exactly repair. what you want, isn't it? It's and what, it's that's been what you no need. real trouble to yeah. me. Yeah, WLNG offer a service very similar. It's called uh, Customer First. So if you are involved in an accident, we have a telephone number that you can call and it takes the hassle out of it. So, I mean, you're already stressed enough as it is if you've had an accident and we don't we don't want that so it's a simple one phone call the rest will be dealt with no that's brilliant yeah. Yeah. so you'll deal with all the, the insurance side yep, and everything all else and get it all fixed up and, yep. and uh, on on the road again yep courtesy okay. car the lot oh excellent <laughs> stuff so uh, no, and of course cars are getting a lot more reliable these days aren't they as they well are. very reliable they are i mean i saw a fascinating documentary recently on television about the opening of the motorways and when okay. they started and they were fairly empty, the biggest problem, the AA and RSC were saying, were well, people's cars were breaking down everywhere because really? they just weren't <laughs> designed for that long, steady no, nowadays drive. Can, no, nowadays, the cars are phenomenal. But they're getting so complicated. You, you open think? the bonnet. <laughs> you it's a bit like modern you technology, you though, is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? You don't yeah. know what to do, do you? No. You can't do much with it. Not like the old cars, is it? So, no, very true. But diagnostics must help a lot as it well. It does, in yeah. Terms That's of all, our technici- all our technicians are all fully trained and mm. the, any problems, bring, them, bring your car down and mm. get an expert to, to talk you through what's what. Yeah, and, and, and what about, you know, you, you put the car in for service or what, whatever and then yeah. the ca- garage rings up and says, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Laycock, but the da 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 <laughs> but you tell the customers what's going on. Of I'm course, sure. yeah. Every step of the way, the customer's informed. It's it's about maintaining that, that customer relationship, maintaining that communication and ensuring that you are fully aware at every step of the way what's going on from as soon as your car hits our hits our car park yeah and i guess the trouble is sometimes a, a fault can be discovered while you're looking at something else as well you can, it can that 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 yeah. does happen mm. it de- it, you know it depends what you bring your car in for how easy is it though to you know to predict what time the car is going to be ready for you and so on again it depends what it's been brought in for if you brought it in for a simple service then we, we we're able to tell you how long that's going to take and you can come in and pick it up at the at the specified time 
Right, yeah. I mean, and the other thing that gets me at times when I'm taking car for service is, uh, you know, you get there early in the morning, you know, before going to work or whatever, and you've got a long queue to wait. For people are faffing around. Somebody's got trouble with their car. WLG offer you appointment times, so you're you're, ah. you're greeted in at a certain time to to yeah. ensure that you're not sitting there queuing. Because no, that's you know, a we, clever idea. Well, we realise you have other jobs to do and you, you know you've got to get off to work kids to take to school so on and so forth so you're you know you're greeted and you're seen in a, a certain time and and on your way yeah yeah very good well thanks for telling me so much about uh, west london motor group thank you very much and for coming in today and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing your uh, cars down at shepherd and village fair on saturday we look forward to being there okay that's leanne cornelius their group marketing manager for the west london motor group <laughs> Radio